Yo, it's good with y'all. I got the I scripted your funny Roblox ideas part two. This is uh like I said, the second part of the series. If you guys want to leave down your ideas, greatly would I would really appreciate it because honestly, I get majority of the ideas from uh the Def King's old I scripted your funny Roblox ideas videos and stuff. So I just pull random ideas from the comments and stuff like that. But for sure, leave you guys uh leave ideas you want to see in part three or just generally future parts of the series. And if I can do it, then for sure I got y'all in the next video. But anyway, uh, if you saw part one, you already know how this goes. I'm going to call out, you know, the idea, the idea someone came up with. Then I'm going to show you guys the result. And then, of course, at the end, I will explain, show the script and everything, explain how I made each uh, idea. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. OK, so for the first idea, not lock four, five, four, five, six, five. I don't even know why I read the name. But anyway, idea, whenever you say hello or hey, a door appears, hits you then says bye this was honestly this probably took me the most out of all of them simply just because i was trying to get like the positioning and stuff of like how i wanted the door to swing because i had it where like this door swings open and stuff so if i type hey you guys see the door spawns in front of me then it swings so i had to like make sure i was getting the c frame right so it's kind of a 50 50 if whether or not this will work i'm not gonna lie when i was testing it it's kind of 50 50 but let's hope for the best okay bye okay so it okay so it does work honestly it's sometimes it shoots you forward back and stuff the the um what is it called the knockback isn't that great but it gets the job done so on to the next idea okay so moving on for the next idea we have when someone says i have claustrophobia a, a small box appears a small box traps them inside and every second it shrink it shrinks so I'm not gonna lie to you guys i doubt i i highly doubt i uh what's it called could spell claustrophobia off the top of my head i doubt i could so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it right so go ahead and test i'm gonna paste i have claustrophobia so boom you guys see it spawns me in a, in a box you guys notice that i'm getting smaller and smaller as the box is also getting smaller and smaller till eventually i'm a midget and then eventually you know I can't like I can't go anything under I believe it's probably zero point one and stuff. So I just become extremely small, and then you'll also notice like I walk like damn, I'm literally I'm literally a dot, I'm literally a dot, just on you know just that dot just um what's it called, just on the map. But yeah, on to the next idea, right? So moving on, next idea is whenever you walk. You start becoming smaller and faster, except you cannot control your running speed. Okay, okay. This is a little this is a little different from the other ideas simply because um this is a little different from the other ideas simply because with this, you know it's not you're not typing anything and stuff. And I actually had to disable this part of the script so that you know it wouldn't interfere with like the other things I was showing you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get and get into it. So if I press play whenever I walk, so pretty much whenever I press the W key. So as long as I press the W key, boom. You know, you guys see I will keep getting smaller and smaller. It's similar to the, the idea you guys just saw before. And stuff. the only difference was I was getting smaller, uh, you know, I was getting smaller in the box. And then as you guys can see, I'm literally a midget just for, it's crazy. Like I literally just like a dot, just I literally like a dot on the map. Like honestly, I would just think it's like a little, it's like something on my computer rather than like, like on my screen rather than like my actual player. <laughs> nah, this is crazy. Somebody needs to make a game like this though. Can't even lie. I just having like low, like just low people versus like big players and stuff. But anyway, on to the next idea. Okay, so the next idea is whenever you say this is a nice game, the base plates, the base plate starts flipping and doesn't stop until you rejoin. So pretty much, I just made it so that the base plate just infinitely uh, keeps spinning. So we're gonna say this game is nice or wait not, or actually I'm not gonna lie, I forgot what it was. Oh this is a nice game. This is a nice game, sorry I forgot. This is a nice game. So if I say this is a nice game, base plates base plates just starts doing a 360, 360 just doing just doing cartwheels and shit. But yeah. And then eventually, you know, we're gonna get flung off the map. And yeah. And then we're just gonna keep going back and just gonna keep doing that until obviously, you know, I stop. But anyway, moving on to the next idea. Whenever you jump, you levitate really high and not landing properly. So pretty much the way I interpreted this is the best thing to do was just simply just change the gravity whenever I press the uh, space key. So I'll be changing the gravity from its default. I think it's like 316. I'm changing it to negative 100, which will pretty much make me just go. It'll just make me jump really high. 
So whenever I press the space bar, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna keep going up, keep going. Up. I don't know how long it's gonna. I don't know how long I'm just gonna keep going up. Uh, it's gonna take a minute before I drop. But yeah, let's see. Um, I honestly have no. I might actually die before I. Even, yeah, I might die honestly. I don't. I am pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. Not gonna lie, because I don't know if the kill box works the same. I know when you fall off. I don't know if maybe going up is the same. Oh shit. Uh, well, that's the end of that. On to the next idea. I think, yeah, this is the last one. Whenever you say I'm small, you become bigger than the base plate. I noticed with a lot of these ideas, a lot of them really dealt with like just my, like just changing the size of my player and stuff, which I, which is honestly ironic because I just figured out how to like just scale models and stuff not so long ago. But anyway, so whenever you say the game is, I think it's this game is small or what was it? Mm, or was it I'm I'm small? It was either I'm small or I'm so small. I can't remember which one. Let me see. Oh, it is I'm so. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm small. Am I? I'm so confused. Oh, I keep forgetting. Well, no, actually, that's actually weird. Unless I just, I might have, I might have left it deactivated. Not gonna lie, because honestly, I don't remember. I, I do not remember. Small. And, mm, that's weird. Huh? I'm small. Let me see. I'm small. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but yes, this is actually like, bro. It's like, kind of like. Like one of them game modes you guys know where like you're trying not to fall off the map. Like, bro, this is actually crazy. This is like if I if I move up, wait, hold on. Actually, let me see something. If I go, uh, uh, oh, oh, well, I forgot. I have the gravity thing still on. I was gonna see if I can go off the side and try to like you know kind of come. Oh, I thought I was falling back, but anyway, yeah. So that's the end of that. I scripted your funny Roblox ideas part two. As like like I said in the beginning of the video, leave your ideas in the comments. I definitely really want to see them and stuff and i'll see if i can do them i'll let you guys know and stuff now time for the explanation part okay so i'll go through each one as you guys could probably tell so i just did some of them on the server side some on the client side i didn't focus at all on like performance or anything i simply just wanted to just achieve the goal and just make it as fast and as simple as possible of course i used a remote event and a server script and server script service and a local script and starter player scripts then i had a folder in server storage with all of the uh we could say props Things I needed to spawn in stuff like the door and the box, right? So on the logo script, simply um, you know, uh, when a person presses the W key, the reason why I have this check equals false. This was simply just to make it so that when I was um showing off the other ideas, it wouldn't make it so that like it wouldn't trigger this to happen. That was the only reason why I have this check. But yeah, whenever a person presses the W key, it'll set the is running uh boolean equal to true, and then while that's true, my player's walk speed will increase by ten. And they will get shorter by 0 0.1, 0 0.1 of an inch every one second, as so long as the is running uh, value is set to true. And then, of course, you know, when you press space, then the gravity turns to negative 100. And that's how, you know, I just flew to, or I just kind of flew up to the sky. And then, of course, you know, when I take my uh, finger off the W key, then is running equals false. Because then I don't want this to happen anymore. Then the local script is just handled two of the ideas. The server script is honestly handled the majority. So, you know, I need the tween service for the door, the debris, I mean, yeah, the debris service for the knockback and the sound service for, uh, wait, oh, I just, re oh, dang, I just realized, I actually forgot an idea. I actually forgot that I can't hear anything. Oh, well, it was going to be a thing where I just do, where simply I just, it was going to be like a loud sound that plays. It's not a big of a deal. Anyway, moving on. So... For this, when I say hey or hello, you guys remember the door. Simply, I pivot the door to the players, uh, like in front of the player. So we take the human error part C frame, then we just spawn it in front of the player, parent it to the workspace, create a tween, let it play for 0.7 seconds, and then um, I want a pretty much just how I made, made it so the door swings open, right? Um, and then here is where I add the knockback for when I touch the door frame. And stuff you know using an attachment and linear velocity then i set the velocity to negative 2000 so i just go flying forward or at least that was the intention and then of course i had the attachment to debris service well i didn't really have to do that i think about it but 
still I, yeah added to the debris service and added the door so they can both just be destroyed the, claustroph the claustrophobia one with the box clone over the box make uh and then i pretty much spawn the box where my character is then i put my character inside of the box then while should do i pretty much just make my character get smaller and smaller while the box also gets smaller and smaller the box but the full i think it was like size 999 or i think it was like yeah i think it was like 999 so yeah i think then for the this is a nice game it's a simple tween pretty much i just take the base plates current c frame and i just uh multiply it by radians 90 degrees and then that's how i just make it so that it just keeps turning and then of course i made it into a tween so that it smoothly turns rather than it seeming like it's just you know teleporting and i'm just changing the property and then that's played every point every half a second and yeah that's pretty much how i made the ideas and stuff like i said if you guys want any of your ideas featured in the videos leave suggestions in the comments if you enjoy this type of content definitely leave a like and subscribe to let me know if you guys want to see more content like this Thank you guys for all the love and support, and let's get to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.